Once Hazel was seated, Theo told the cook to serve them breakfast. Although Hazel had been upset with Theo because of their disagreement the night before, she now did her best to please him. On the one hand, she wanted to regain his trust, and on the other, she wanted to send a message to Axel, telling him not to interfere in their relationship. Once all the food was on the table, Hazel paid special attention to Theo, passing him whatever he wanted, and always making sure to offer him more. As Axel watched her, he thought that there was something strange about her self-assured confidence around an older man like his brother, who wasn't exactly known for his gentleness. She doesn't act like she's only 20, he thought. She's too sure of herself. She's definitely hiding something. The cook seems to have forgotten your coffee, Hazel said to Theo. Should I make you one? Sure, Theo said. That would be great. You make it much better than the cook anyway. As Hazel got up to go to the kitchen, Axel told her that he wanted a coffee too. I like my coffee strong and dark, he said, but with plenty of sugar. I like my women something like that too, he added. Sweet, but strong at the same time. Intense and complex. Do you know how to make coffee like that? Actually, I don't, Hazel said. Theo drinks his coffee with milk, cream, and very little sugar. Although Hazel knew perfectly well how to make the type of coffee Axel had asked for, she didn't feel like doing it. She didn't like the way that he kept provoking her in front of Theo, and guessed that it must be some kind of test. Maybe Theo is even using him to test me, she thought. Maybe he wants to see if I like being teased, or if I'll start flirting with his brother. The cook should still be in the kitchen, Hazel said. I can ask her to make it for you. I'm sure she'll do it better than me. I learned how to make coffee for Theo, and only know how to make the kind he likes. Don't be silly, Axel said. You look like the kind of girl who knows how to make a good espresso. Why don't you try? I want to try a coffee made by you, not the cook. I already told you that I don't know how, Hazel insisted. She then turned and walked to the kitchen. As she had expected, the cook was still there. After preparing Theo's coffee, she told the cook to prepare an espresso for Axel and to serve it to him herself. After serving Theo his coffee, Hazel sat down again at the table. The coffee is perfect, Theo said as he sipped from the steaming cup. After putting down the cup to let it cool a little, he placed his hand on Hazel's shoulder and rubbed it affectionately. He then leaned over and kissed her lightly on the cheek. I'm sorry about last night, he said sincerely. I should never have said what I did. I should have trusted you. As they were talking, the cook walked in and served Axel his coffee. Don't worry about it, Hazel said, stroking Theo's face with her hand. Axel watched their interactions closely. He was very surprised at how openly Hazel showed her affection to Theo in front of him, and he didn't like it. Feeling irritated, he began to cough, pretending that he had choked on his coffee. <coughs> Theo immediately understood that his brother was making a show in order to break up his conversation with Hazel, and he became angry. He had been enjoying Hazel's attention, and wasn't happy at all about being disturbed. What are you coughing for? He said. Don't you even know how to drink a cup of coffee properly? What do you mean? Axel said, surprised by his brother's strong reaction. You could have at least offered me a glass of water instead of getting angry. I don't feel like arguing at this time of morning, Theo said. If you're not ready to let us enjoy breakfast peacefully together, you're free to leave. Calm down. I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings, Axel said sarcastically. You two lovebirds can keep doing your thing, I don't mind. Though I'm the one who should feel insulted since I'm the guest here. When Hazel heard this, her face flushed red with a mix of anger and embarrassment. Who does he think he is? She thought. 
How dare he treat me like I'm doing something wrong by being with Theo? Theo glared at Axel furiously. You really don't know when to keep your mouth shut, do you? He said. Since when have you become so touchy? Axel replied. This is my house, and I'm free to say and do whatever I want. Theo snapped. And so is Hazel, for that matter. Axel, sensing that he had gone too far, decided it would be better not to say anything else for the time being. Suppressing his annoyance, he ate the rest of his breakfast in silence. When he finished eating, he got up and left the room. Once he was gone, Hazel breathed a sigh of relief. I have to go to the office, Theo said. I'll probably be back late. If you want to go anywhere, tell Josh first. I already told him to keep an eye on you and make sure that you're safe. Theo knew that Ava would definitely try to convince Hazel to meet Andrew again, sometime very soon. Although Hazel was smart, he knew how cunning Andrew and Ava were, and he was worried that they would manage to trick Hazel somehow. Aside from them, there were also others, such as Sophia, who would love to harm her if they got the chance. He would have preferred that Hazel didn't leave the house at all, but he didn't dare to ask too much of her in case she reacted badly. He knew that she couldn't stand being told what to do and could even leave him if he tried to control her too much. Although Hazel didn't like the idea of having Josh follow her around wherever she went, she didn't dare to object. After their argument the other night, she had almost expected that Theo would tell her not to meet Andrew at all, and was relieved that he hadn't. In any case, she had to admit that Theo was right to be worried, since he had no way of knowing that she already knew Andrew and Ava's plans, and that they would never manage to trick her. I'd better be on Theo's good side for the moment, she thought. Andrew is probably going to talk to Grandpa soon and tell him that he wants to marry me. When this happens, I'll need to have Theo by my side. Okay, I'll let Josh know, Hazel told Theo. Thanks for taking such good care of me. I'll see you tonight. As Theo and Hazel were talking, Axel re-entered the room. I'll ask Dr. Miller to have a look at your eyes this afternoon, Theo said as he picked up his jacket to leave. Hopefully, he'll give you the all clear. He then kissed Hazel on the cheek gently and told her to take care of herself. Axel watched the two of them with bemusement. This isn't the Theo I know, he thought. The Theo I know is rough and rude. Of all the women he's been with, I've never seen him treat any of them so gently and affectionately. I prefer the way he was before, when he was more like me. Aren't you coming with me? Theo asked when he saw Axel standing there, staring at him. I have to go right now, so if you plan on coming, you better hurry up. Yes, of course I'm coming, Axel said, snapping out of his daze. Just a second, I'll grab my jacket. Axel went to the couch where his jacket was lying, picked it up, and put it on. See you later, he said to Hazel with a strange look in his eyes before walking out of the door with Theo. Once Theo and Axel were gone, Hazel went upstairs to change her clothes. She had a busy day ahead of her, and Axel's surprise visit had already caused her to lose a lot of time. Axel and Theo drove to the office in silence. Axel kept staring at Theo, as if trying to read his mind. Theo couldn't help noticing and became annoyed. What do you want? He snapped. Can you stop staring at me? It gives me the creeps. I don't want anything, Axel said. I'm just trying to figure out why you're acting so weird. It's almost like you're actually in love with that girl. I can't believe it. You've never acted like that with a woman before. If Bella finds out, she's going to be devastated. She's been after you for years. Why are you so worried about my private life? Theo said. I have my own plans, 
and they're none of your business. Thea knew that Axel was right about Bella, but didn't want to discuss the matter with him, since involving his brother would risk making things even more complicated than they already were. Bella was a very complex person, and it was more likely that she was already considering making a move against Hazel. The situation in the Fisher family was also far from simple, and it was possible that Sophia was already planning to harm Hazel somehow. Despite everything that had happened to the Fishers recently, the Fisher sisters were still from an influential family. Fiona was as smart and beautiful as Bella, yet Bella always managed to outdo Fiona thanks to her powerful family name, which was very well known in the business world. I'm your brother, so of course it's my business what you do. It affects me too, Axel said. Not necessarily, Theo said. You don't tell me everything that you do, and I don't interfere in your life unless it's really necessary. That's true, Axel said. But I can't help feeling that Hazel has too much hold over you. Who knows what she wants? I wouldn't trust her if I was you. Then it's lucky that you're not me, Theo retorted. Seeing that he was getting nowhere, Axel shut his mouth, and the two of them passed the rest of the trip in silence. <laughs>